Cruise news. Royal Caribbean has experienced some plumbing issues on multiple ships, one involving some cabin flooding. I have video and I'm going to get you the details. Plus, financial issues are putting the future built of new ships in jeopardy. Additionally, one city mayor is looking to impose another cruise ship ban. And there is a lot more. I'm going to get you the top cruise news updates to get you fully up to speed, and I'm going to get you the information fast. Coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason. We are your cruise news and information channel. Let's go ahead and jump into today's cruise news. Number one, financial fears for one of the world's primary shipyards. The Meyer Wharf shipyard in Germany has been family owned by the Meyer family since it was founded in 1795. But now they are in a critical financial situation and they are in need of a large cash infusion or a bailout in order to survive. At this point, the company does not even have the funds to pay the wages of their workers. They will need a cash injection within the next month. The Meyer Wharf Shipyard is the current builder of the next several Disney Cruise Line ships, some of Carnival Cruise Line's planned new builds, plus a bill for Silver Sea Cruises and others. Right now, sources are reporting that a bailout by the German government is increasingly possible. Stay tuned for updates. Then, number two, another cruise ship ban could be coming to Europe. The mayor of Bordeaux, France, is seeking to ban cruise ships from the city center. Bordeaux is a popular city in southwest France that is known for its nearby vineyards. But the mayor is receiving pushback from some business owners regarding the ban. They pointed out that the average cruise passenger spends approximately 150 euros while in Bordeaux. The high expenditure average is partly explained by the purchase of wine while ashore. The town hall is currently in talks regarding the ban and alternative options. More information should be released soon. Moving on to number three, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have issued a new forecast for the remainder of the Atlantic hurricane season. The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1st until November 30th every year. And with the new forecast, NOAA released a statement saying, quote, Conditions have set the stage for an extremely active hurricane season that could rank among the busiest on record. With the peak of hurricane season quickly approaching, we urge everyone to know their risk. I am now going to share with you the updated forecast and I will also provide a comparison with the average hurricane season. They are now expecting between 17 to 24 named storms. Typically there are 14. They expect between 8 to 13 hurricanes. Typically there are 7. And they expect between 4 to 7 major hurricanes and typically there are 3. Hopefully we will end up having less than what they have forecasted. I guess time will tell. Next, number four, an update on the top 10 cruise YouTubers by number of subscribers. It has been six months since I have provided an update on this, so the data I'm about to share with you compares February of this year with data as of today. Here is the chart. The channels that are in the top 10 remain the same. Some positions have changed around. Those are highlighted in blue. I have met a good portion of these personally. All have amazing channels, and I would definitely encourage you to visit them all and check them out. Okay, we have several cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but now it is time for our fast mid-show check-in. In the last video, I asked if you use packing cubes in your luggage. I received input from more than 5,000 of you, and here are the results. This actually came out to be a tie with 50% of you saying yes, you use the packing cubes, and 50% do not. Thanks for your input and the comments. Here is today's question. August is about over and the holiday season will be here before we know it. We're getting closer and closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas and all of that. So the question for today is this, have you ever been on a holiday cruise? Chime in down below with A for yes or B for no. I will look forward to reading that, but now on with the cruise news. Number five, the island of Jamaica was rocked by a 5.3 magnitude earthquake. This occurred on Friday morning. The jolt was felt across the island. This is the second largest earthquake in Jamaica in the last two decades. There was some minor damage from the earthquake. Thankfully, no serious injuries have been reported. Next, number six, some parents committed credit card fraud to pay for their cruises. An individual was contacted by a collection agency after they were found to have more than $10,000 of credit card debt. The person later talked to their parents and discovered that their parents had opened up credit cards in their name to pay for cruise vacations. The parents said they intended to pay them off, but the payments became too high. Cruise vacations are great, but they are definitely not worth going in debt, and they are especially not worth committing credit card fraud. 
Moving on to number seven, the climate activist group Extinction Rebellion has disrupted operations for two more cruise ships in Amsterdam. They did the same last week and the Amsterdam authorities took no police action to arrest the group. So they have been increasingly emboldened to continue with more protest. This time they delayed Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas cruise ship for several hours by chaining themselves to a bridge to prevent the ship from accessing the lock. Then the Ambassador Ambition cruise ship deviated to another port to avoid the situation altogether. Extinction Rebellion is calling for quote, an immediate end to the cruise industry. Then number eight, Royal Caribbean has experienced major plumbing issues on multiple ships. The first report is from the Voyager of the Seas cruise ship. On embarkation day, the entire ship was without water for approximately three hours. This meant no toilet flushing and no hand washing. But the biggest complaint by passengers was that no communication was made by the ship, so there was little information regarding the situation unless each person went to guest services to find out on their own. The second situation took place on the Harmony of the Seas cruise ship. The issue on this ship involved the toilets either flushing continuously or not flushing at all. Here is some footage provided by a channel subscriber named Kyle. You can see water gushing from the toilet. This was a frequent situation throughout their cruise. Here is another video he provided showing more flooding. Multiple cabins were impacted by broken toilets. It is unclear how extensive the flooding was. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video, it'll be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.